Hey, welcome back to Laura's Natural Life, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my current everyday makeup routine, plus a few stops because I totally got carried away with my eyeshadow, uh, just chit-chatting to you. So, if you are new here, my name is Laura, I make videos about non-toxic lifestyle, green beauty, holistic health, and if that's of interest to you, please hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to see you here every time I make a video. And if you guys are returning, I am so happy that you're here and I appreciate each and every one of you. And now let's jump right in to my bare face. Jumping right in with my foundation, I'm going to use one pump of the Marie Veronique Everyday Coverage Tinted Sunscreen that I talked about in my sunscreen tinted moisturizer video. I'm still really, really loving this product, but it's a little too dark for me now that it's fall and winter. And in fall and winter, I usually like to go a little bit more coverage than I do in the summer. So to correct those two problems, I'm going to add one drop of my favorite Gressa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. So the way that I like to use Gressa the most, well, first you gotta shake it, is to use one drop in a different medium. So medium. Basically, if I love the formula and the texture of a lighter coverage product, but maybe the product's not quite right, maybe the shade's just a little bit too dark, easy peasy, here's the, here's, here's the solution. Because just one drop of Gressa, and I mix them on the back of my hand, just one drop of Gressa has such amazing redness cancellation purposes, it really amps up the coverage, and it just gives... A slightly more flawless finish and I usually just put in one drop but that looks like a heavy drop and then I just mix them around on my hand it's super pretty I love watching them mix I don't know is that weird probably so my mirror is just a little bit down and off to the side so that's where I'm looking and the parts that are on my hand that I used to mix I usually put in the center of my face because that's where I want the most coverage of course if you want to learn more about the Marie Veronique tinted moisturizer, definitely watch that sunscreen video because I pretty much raved about it. And it's almost like a gel texture. It's really, really cool. And then Gressa, of course, you've seen me use 800 million times, but I will link that video down below if you want to see me use it full force, which I don't really recommend doing anymore just because it is so expensive and you get the same benefits really just using one drop and mixing it with something else than if you use three or four drops over your whole face. But we all have different skin and what we like, so that's true. Then I go in with the new-ish bio-based, bio-based baked foundation. I use the shade three from Well People. So this is just a baked uh, pressed powder version of their regular foundation and I quite like that but I don't really loved a mess so I thought I'd try this I like it it's not quite as mattifying I think as others but it really does give me a nice because it's baked so baked stuff is usually a bit more luminous I like it for the winter. It didn't really work so much for me for the summer except for under the eyes, but now that it's winter and it's dry, it is fantastic. And I like to pretty heavily cover that triangle of light under my eyes. And then I'm just gonna go in with a fluffier brush and do a light dusting on the rest of my face. Then I'm going to go in with bronzer. This is the Beauty Counter Matte Bronzer in number one. Again, same thing, it was a bit light for me in the summer. Now that it's winter, I can wear it. I do have to layer it a little bit though. And I'm kind of, it's matte, so you can kind of use it as a contour as well. If I really was going out or something, I'd probably use this as like a subtle contour. And then I would do a like more luminous bronzer on top of it. I just realized how bright the display is right now. So I'm gonna just turn it down a little bit so you can see the colors a little bit better. All right, then I'm gonna go in with a blush. This is Terry Mia here, a Conquer Blush Duo. I can't even find a blush brush. So I'm using this, which is like a dome brush, but you know what? It's gonna work. 
and I like this one because it's like half shimmer, half matte, and I don't love a shimmer blush, but in the winter, I kind of like it just to give me a little more life. I feel like that needs a bit more blending on this side. And then I kind of feel like I don't have to use a highlight. Then I usually move on to brows. I'm still using this Honest Beauty pencil for step one. My brows are always a multi-step process. And it's the Honest Beauty brow filler. I don't think they make it anymore. I don't know why not. I think it was one of the best products that they did. Hopefully they come back with it if they haven't already. And... I mean, you've seen people fill in their brows a million times on YouTube, I'm guessing, so I'm going to try to go quickly. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me and supporting me. I know that I haven't been on YouTube very much in 2018, and I, I really appreciate you guys for continuing to want to see videos and continuing to send me messages and DMs and comments on Instagram and comments in the Facebook group and I really appreciate it. The best way to stay in touch with me and what's happening with Lord's Natural Life and Green Beauty and Non-Toxic Lifestyle and all that jazz is to subscribe to my email list if you haven't already because I send weekly emails about what's happening with new stuff, different offers, and I have some cool stuff coming up in 2019, and I'd really love for you to be in the know and be the first to know. One of the things that's coming up is my Well In Your Dwelling course is coming back in January. So if one of your resolutions is going to be to create a non-toxic, healthier home without the hassle and the headache, make sure that you're signed up for my email list so you know when it comes out. So step two of my brows is the Glossier Boy Brow. Now, I posted about this on Instagram when I first started using it this summer, and I had a couple people who were like, mm, isn't that not clean? And the answer is, it's not the cleanest. Oh, this is why I don't talk usually when I do my makeup. The answer is no, it's not the cleanest, but it's also not the worst, and I love it. And you can see that the rest of my products are clean. I like to advise for people who are in green beauty and who aren't gung-ho purists to stick to where did my spoolie go here we go stick to a ratio of fun products that maybe aren't clean but that they love and then do the majority clean products so if you're just starting maybe aim for 20 80 clean and then work your way to 50 50 and then work your way to 80 20 i have been doing this for six or seven years now and i've found products that i love and so i don't feel guilty if i find a less clean product that i absolutely absolutely love and want to incorporate into my routine especially if it's something that i'm not going to use very often like a particular bright lipstick that is really great for one occasion might wear it once twice a year but this little guy he's going on such a small area of skin i don't mind incorporating him into my everyday routine as a product that isn't as clean as the rest. And now that that has set and dried, I'm just gonna brush it through. So, I'm gonna go in with this Terry Mia Hair Renew eyeshadow. It's just like a white bone color and I didn't bring down the brush that I usually use for it, so I'm gonna try to clean this one off. It's Kleenex, we're real professional around here, guys. By we, I mean it's just me, so I'm real professional around here. In fact, I wish you could see what's happening. There are toys all over. My office has become a secondary playroom, pretty much. The other thing I want to make sure that you guys know is that I have opened up my coaching again. So I have two different options. One is for nutrition and health. If you want to do health and holistic nutrition coaching with me, that's an option. But the other is, I think, super helpful if you need it and you're interested in it is that you can set up a time to chat with me about green beauty about your home about any sort of non-toxic lifestyle question that you have about products how to transition if there are specific things that you need help with you can definitely talk with me about them and i'll put all of those links down below 
So I'm going into this Bare Minerals palette. I've had this forever. I do think that this palette, at least of theirs, the eyeshadows, the ingredients are really, really great. And I love that it's a cohesive nude palette, which is hard to find. I've had this for years. I don't know if they still make it, but I'm using the shade Lost for Words, which is a really light, neutral, uh, tannish brown. And I'm just going to apply that. I actually didn't think about how I'm doing this. But I guess this is what's happening. Um, in kind of a dome shape on the lid and up through the crease. I usually use like the same mix of colors, but sometimes I'll change up the shapes. So then I'm going to go in with probably my favorite eyeshadow of all time. It is Root Pretty Duke. You can see it's the only one I've hit pan on. It is a delightful medium, but still rich, warm, tannish brown. Oh, it just goes with everything. It looks great in the crease. It's a great blending color. It's great one wash of color all over the lid. And I'm just going to basically do the same thing that I did, but not come quite up as high. So I'm still going in a dome shape, um, starting at the lash line and going up in a little dome shape. And I find that this shape, I learned this from somebody else on YouTube like a really long time ago forget who it was or if she's even making videos anymore but this shape looks really good on hooded lids which I have then I'm gonna take a smaller slightly stiffer still domed brush I'm gonna do the same thing with the same color and just kind of like pack it on a bit more for a little bit more color payoff especially down here on the lid so I want the darkest of the colors on the lid closest to the lash line and then fading upwards. I'm actually just kind of using this as a flat packing brush. All right, then I'm going back in. I'm going in with East, which is more of a neutral, slightly darker than medium brown, but not too dark. Same thing. And you can see there, I didn't even come up to my crease. So really just keeping this on the lid at this point going into the Antonym Noisset palette. So usually I do like one or two of these browns, but today I'm just really in the mood for more browns, I guess. And I'm using the matte dark brown. So basically anything you have from like a neutral tan to a medium brown to a dark brown will be perfect. And warm or cool, your choice. Dealer's choice. If given the choice, I always choose warm. And then this is a little special touch that I think a lot of people skip, but I find it makes a huge difference is highlighting the inner corner. So I actually don't find a huge difference if I highlight my brow personally, but the inner corner, yes. So I'm going to do both, obviously, because I'm like that. And I'm just going to hit that inner arch. I also really need my brows shaped and threaded. I literally haven't done that in two years. I don't have a lot of brows, so I can kind of get away with it, but they would look better cleaned up. So this brush looks big, but it actually comes to a really, really fine point. So any tiny, tiny brush that you have, I mean, just, can you tell the difference in the sides just with this one highlighted and this one not in the inner corner? It just, I feel like it makes a huge difference. Like I look so much more awake. If I'm just hanging out at home most of the day, I'll probably skip this unless I feel like I want to look prettier. So this is, I'm just going to tight line my upper lashes. All right, I'm going to curl my lashes and put my mascara on. Two things that aren't super fun to watch on camera. Um, and I'm going to use a mixture of Lily Lolo and Inica. Lily Lolo is more volumizing and Inica is more lengthening. Lily Lolo is usually quite of a wet formula. I prefer a wet formula mascara, personally. Um, this is on glass legs, so it's getting a little, a little more dry. But I just love it the best for volumizing. I It never smudges on me, like under my lash line. It doesn't flake, like it's just great for me. However, I see girls in the Facebook group saying that Lily Lolo is not your jam and it doesn't work for you. So whatever works for me, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you, but, and then Inica is newer to me. Um, it's about the same price. These are about each like 20 ish dollars. And this is super wet, like probably the wettest formula I've used 
So I kind of like have to dry it a little bit. And I've always been a mascara layerer. Let me know if you have been too. So like even before I switched to non-toxic beauty, this has nothing to do with non-toxic beauty not being good enough because that's not the case. It is that I've just always been a layerer. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna do the lips and I'm gonna layer. So this is my favorite combination right now. It is RMS Pretty Vacant. It is a like neutral, brighter pink. They are super matte, they're super pigmented. I actually usually just kinda like dot cause they're so intense. So I'm gonna do uh, nudist fairy tales on the top, just kind of like neutral it out a little bit. There you have it. There's my current everyday makeup routine, plus maybe a few steps here and there because I got carried away and enjoyed it with the eyeshadow and the eyeliner. But anyways, it usually takes me like five minutes. I promise. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am so happy that you guys are in my tribe. I really love each and every one of you and I appreciate you and I hope that you know that. And I want you to have a lovely, wonderful day. Please leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next video or hopefully more often via email.